If you happen to think that there are a great number of things going wrong in Canadian society, listen to this. How about if you needed a heart operation? Then you go and you have a heart surgeon. You hope that that surgeon is one of the best they could ever find. Now, in Canada, there's a group of doctors who are saying, not so much the talent or the skill, we want to make sure that all the doctors are really well versed in social justice. That's more important than skill. That is crazy. You read the stories about planes and their doors falling off in the sky or busting out bolts. Part of that is because you don't have the best engineers and technicians making the planes. Why? DEI, diversity, equity, inclusion. No one has a problem with DEI per se, but when you impose it at the expense of skill, then we have a real problem in our economy, in our society. We have, you have planes that are falling out of the sky. Our Minister of Finance says that carbonization is the biggest single issue in the economy. Our Minister of Finance has never been a business person, has never done anything financial. She is a journalist. And there she is, running our economy in one of the most difficult times we've ever had in Canada, saying, well, it's all carbonization. She sits over in Switzerland with those people who want to run the world. And it's a cold winter. And we've had many, many circumstances of either electric cars, which we're all supposed to buy according to our government, failing because batteries just don't work when it's minus 40 degrees, or in this winter, people are saying heat pumps don't work. Even in where I live, heat pumps, it's not that cold, but they don't work. Our prime minister said, oh, there's no case for natural gas. And the government's trying to stop the burning of it. These are silly, silly decisions run by dogma. So what we have to do is have real smart politicians in there making the decisions because running decisions, running an economy, running, building, you know, planes, having cars that have to be electric and we won't be allowed to have gas or diesel engines. That is so much baloney. But we have a lot of politicians, a great number of politicians, who are saying that's the way of the world. It's not the way of the world. And Canadians have to go and vote for politicians who say we are going to deal with the realities of things and not the nonsense. Cut the nonsense. And that's three minutes. This show provides independent analysis of the issues. We are not paid by the government. And as I am finding, so much business in Canada relies upon various governments that they don't want to sponsor or advertise on a show which may become controversial, which talks about liberty, freedoms, sometimes criticizes government. I've had guests on that support the government. But people are saying, you know what? We don't want to bite the hand that feeds us, i.e. government, which is why I hope you'll subscribe and contribute to keep this show on the air.